Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all staying safe as we kick off 2021 indoors again. But that just means I'm going to bring you as much content as I can this month. And don't forget there's other awesome Harry Potter YouTubers who are working hard delivering content. So you should all have plenty to watch. Anyway, let's get on topic. Tom Riddle, aka Lord Voldemort, the Dark Lord, we know his story, we know what he did and how he came to be, but what we don't truly know is why he came to be, and that's what I want to talk about today, why he became so evil. Surely there was a moment, at least one moment, where his mother or father thought, let's protect this child, I want to keep this child. Well, let's continue the video and find out. Before the video begins, I'd just like to highlight for those of you who may want to check out my personal life, which does include Harry Potter stuff, that I do have an Instagram where I post lots of photos that you can view. It's also the best way to contact me if you have a question or even a video idea. I may not reply immediately, but I'll try my best to get back to you all. You can check it out from the link in the description below. Enjoy the video. Welcome back guys, so let's get straight into today's video. Okay, Lord Voldemort. Now I won't spend too much time talking about his reputation. We already know who he is and what he's done, but to sum him up, he's the most powerful dark wizard to ever walk the earth and has performed feats of magic that most wizards could only dream of. Actually, let me rephrase that. Performed feats of magic that most wizards wouldn't even have the imagination in order to conjure up the dream in the first place. So to many of you, Tom Riddle was born outside of love. He never experienced it personally, but the hook on his situation is, his parents never loved each other from the get-go, which is apparently the real reason for him turning out how he did. A boy without a conscience, a boy who took pleasure in hurting people, evil at its finest. If we add the stipulation of magical blood differing from muggle blood, then it helps you realize that it could indeed be the true root of Voldemort's evil, except this wasn't an open and closed case of two people conceiving a child who just didn't happen to love each other, because at least in that case, there's consent. Voldemort's parents were on a completely different level. This was a one-sided, unnatural, forced union between two people with only one of them under the influence of a very strong love potion. Merope Gond was by no means a natural beauty. She wasn't blessed with looks or any level of class or sophistication. She'd been physically and mentally abused by her father and brother for the entirety of her life, which basically tells us that she has little to no self-esteem. She wasn't even allowed to go to Hogwarts and was barely allowed to use any magic at all. So Merope becomes obsessed with the handsome Tom Riddle who lives up at Riddle Manor. She sees him every day riding his horse and then creates a fantasy in her own head of the two of them being together. Merope is completely infatuated with the young man and somehow slips him a love potion. Now I don't know how and I can't imagine how she'd have convinced him to drink anything she'd crafted but nevertheless he drank it and literally became her prisoner. The potion robbed Tom Senior of his will which is a massive red flag in any way that you look at it. He began living with her permanently without any explanation to his own parents. He married Merope against his own willing judgement and what's worse, Merope became pregnant for him. Obviously once again with Tom not in the right frame of mind to consent to a sexual relationship either. Merope Gond stole the mind and body of Tom Riddle Sr. I honestly feel it's so overlooked as just part of the story. It just comes across as if it's not so much of a big deal. When in actual fact it's a huge deal, there wasn't a shred of consent on any level whatsoever on Tom Senior's behalf, which may help you realise why Voldemort turned out how he did. It wasn't just being born outside of love, it was being born outside human consent. The boy should have never been born and was never meant to be born. Merripeg went way beyond the point of return when she tricked Tom that day. She knew it was wrong but she did it anyway. In time, however, the guilt began to eat away at her and she eventually released him from his fictionalised environment. 
probably realising that she'd never be loved how she wanted to be. The small piece of hope she had that her husband would remain by her side for the sake of their unborn son was soon shattered when he up and left abruptly without a second thought. He was more horrified than anything. He entered into a marriage he didn't consent to. He was about to become the father to a child he didn't consent to creating. He left, went back to his parents and never looked back. He wanted nothing to do with his child at any point. Tom Sr. wasn't a nice man either. It doesn't justify what happened to him, but he was snobbish, self-centered and extremely wealthy which gave him a big ego, along with his family too. It's not known what really happened to him after he rejoined his parents again, if he remarried or had any further children of his own. What's certain is the fact that he had no love for his son. He had no interest in his son and most likely wished his son was never born. I know that's quite cold but it's such a grey area to analyse. At one end, he's entitled to feel like that as he'd been brainwashed by magic and at the other end, there was still a physical child in need of a father, more importantly, in need of a parent. I'd really love to see the conversation that young Tom had with his father and grandparents the day he met them in Riddle Manor to find out what exactly happened. I imagine the dialogue, the questions he asked them and even the responses from them. As a matter of fact, that scene is something I'm currently working on for a fictionalised animation that I hope to release in the coming weeks. But to sum Tom Sr up, I can assure you, he never wanted his son and had no interest in him as I've just said. As for his mother, well, Merope really lacked independent structure. She struggled to cope on her own and needed the support of her husband as she had so strongly received it while he was under her influence. She barely held on through the latter days of her pregnancy but had enough strength to locate an orphanage where she gave birth. Sadly, her love for her son was not enough to have her will to live remain strong. Fixated on her husband who abandoned her, Merope's last act was to name their child after him. Without Tom Sr, she felt no purpose within herself to continue living. I always believe magic is a gift, that's how I think of it. Magical people are different from muggles, different blood with magical properties. If the person, especially a pure blood like Merope, had no desire to live, then her body would give up that magic as it could be returned to the universe from which it came. And yeah, I do believe that there's a magical universe and that's where magic and prophecies come from. However, that's a topic for another day. The truth is, when I began researching for this video, I wanted to discover reasons to support Voldemort's parents actually wanting him, but I actually found myself discovering more and more reasons for them not wanting him because that's the only outcome. As I've said, he wasn't born just outside of love. He was born outside of any positive union between two people. He was born outside of consent. He was the result of one person violating every law surrounding another person's will and choice. That is why the Dark Lord was so evil. That is why he had no conscience. And in my opinion, that's exactly why he turned out how he did. However, if you'd like to disagree with me, you're fully entitled to do so by commenting down below. With that being said guys, that is all for today's video. I genuinely hoped you all enjoyed it. I put a lot of effort into the research for this one. Make sure to keep watching for those notifications as a second video will be released this week. Thanks again for watching, have a great day and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, I truly truly appreciate your support. Everyone, notifications of uploads are more important than ever. So please, if you haven't already, turn those notifications on to make sure you're notified the moment my video goes live. Making videos is what I love to do. It's my dream and my passion. However, it does cost time and money to produce this content. So if you have a dollar to spare to support me on Patreon in exchange for some exclusive unseen content, then you can click the Patreon link below or at the end of this video. Please only support me if you can afford it. And make sure to follow me on Instagram at InstaDNJ and on Twitter at Potter Folklore. Check out my other videos appearing on screen and please make sure, most importantly, to hit that subscribe button. Thanks again everyone and please have a great day.